Hello everybody, Dan from Frontline MCOC here, back with another video for Marvel Contest of Champions. Today I am jumping into Act 1.3.6. We're going to get that uh, Act 1.3 uh, exploration today. Um, once again, 4-star Sentry, 3-star Guardian, 3-star Gamora, and 3-star Colossus is the team. And I am excited to get this... Um, completion and exploration today we have five paths and an OG Iron Man boss looks like Iron Man is the only one with oh nope the uh, Masakre is duped as well look around real quick I think I think it's just those two all right let's get into it and like I said I'm excited to get this done and hit level 17 um, because I'm in an alliance and I would like to participate in the next round of alliance quest and also uh, see what alliance war is like at this level. I think that'll be another interesting part of the uh, new player learning experience. But before we do that, we have five paths to um, knock out real quick here. But once again, doesn't look like anything too tricky. We don't have any gates. Um, defenders like OG Vision, which would be a lot more difficult if they had their uh, signature ability active, um, are unawakened. Of course, I can still run into a special one. <laughs> All the same. Okay, so Masakre is an interesting defender. He has a high degree of block penetration, which means you don't want to let him generally hit your block. It's also how he can ignite his bat. Uh, but what you really need to watch out for is his special two attack. If you are um, playing uh, with an attacker that doesn't have a lot of strength, then he might get to his special two. Uh, that is not an attack that you want to block. Because he will do a lot of damage to you. Alright, we're going to pick up that team heal. Luckily, I have my um, rank 3 uh, 3 star guardian here for all these mutant defenders. He will make quick work of them. Got a storm and a Wolverine mini boss, and then um, Iron Man. But this is still your basic um, block um, or parry. Uh, get your five hits in, throw your special attack, and. Uh, that's pretty much all you need to do. Um, maybe you need to dodge a special or two. Uh, but even then, nothing too tricky here. By this time, you should have both uh, parry and dexterity uh, turned on and be pretty familiar with those masteries. Now, if you haven't been allocating your mastery points, I uh, I suggest you, uh, you go back and do that. Um, Assuming we level up and get a mastery point during uh, the course of this run, I'm going to take a look at my mastery tree at the end of the video. Okay, so I, we do have the, um, the dupe on the Iron Man active, so that means he will regenerate when he's at low health. And believe it or not, Iron Man used to be a pretty good war defender because of that regen way back in Alliance War 1.0. And that is, that is a good amount of regen there, Tony. All right, Captain Canada takes down OG Iron Man. So we get our initial completion of Act 1.3. Nice chunk of units. The uh, two-star crystal, two-star nexus, 
Uh, the two star, two to three rank up gems. Those are nice as well. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go back here and go for exploration. And we will run uh, these paths from uh, left to right, as is customary. So we'll head up the left side and get that left center path. Which means we need to fight this OG vision again, and then we'll cut over towards that um, science adaptoid. Ooh, we're getting very close to um, level 17, get that extra energy. Might have to use a small energy refill or two um, to uh, actually uh, get over uh, the level 17 XP needed. Oh, no, I guess not. There we go. That did it. All right. Extra mastery point. Very nice. A few more units. Do I want to spend $10 for a four-star crystal? I do not. But thank you for the offer, Kabam. Okay, once again, we have Storm, Wolverine, and OG Iron Man. Let's switch it up a little bit. We'll bring in Sentry. And Iron Man. So if you are having trouble with this Iron Man because of the regen, um, you may want to consider a champion that can either block his healing or can reverse his healing. Uh, now, of course, your roster is Probably very limited at this point, but you may have some of the heal block champions. Uh, some of the obvious ones are uh, Sentry, uh, Civil Warrior would work. Uh, there's also champions like uh, Symbiote Supreme and Sorcerer Supreme who can um, nullify the regen buff. Uh, or you could get someone like... Um, the Hood or um, Sasquatch who can actually uh, stagger um, um, Iron Man. And that means that uh, if he has a stagger debuff up, uh, his next uh, buff will not trigger. So you could just block the, the regen buff from uh, occurring. Uh, and then there's champions like um, Human Torch and Void uh, and Guillotine uh, who can actually reverse healing. So instead of gaining health um, from the regen buff, the opponent would actually take damage from their own healing. Or you could just uh, hit him a bunch of times until you uh, <laughs> knock off all the HP that he's gaining back.
Okay, path three. We're headed towards the mutant adaptoid here. Should be very quick considering his uh, low PI and class advantage. Uh, so one thing you're going to notice when you look at my roster, uh, if you've been keeping up with uh, this series, is that I have just leveled up a bunch of champs. And that is in anticipation of AQ and Alliance War starting soon, uh, based on my account uh, reaching level 17 and having access to those game modes. I would like to be able to participate and get some extra rewards, especially since I'm not focusing on Arena or any of the event quests or side quests in the account at this time. Would like to get a little extra as far as the rewards to help the account progress. Uh, the glory store is nice because you kinda can kind of pick what you want from the rewards. Uh, and I also just want to see what the Alliance experience is like at this level in 2020. So as I am uh, recording my playthroughs of the early acts, if um, War or AQ is on, I'll probably jump in there at the end of the, uh, the videos so we can get a little taste of um, the early um, Alliance Quest and Alliance War gameplay. All right, we are moving right along. Let's get back in there. Hit the replay button. Four, path four. Gotta fight this Namor five times. Should be very good at, at fighting Namor by the end of this uh, quest. Okay, next up's Rocket Raccoon, and then down to another Storm. They love the duplicate defenders. If you don't fight Storm uh, going one direction, you're going to fight her going the other direction. Okay, let's see if we have anybody new. No, Sabretooth and OG Vision. So, a lot of duplicates. There is that beast uh, that we're going to fight on Path 5 on the far right. He'll be new, but a lot of duplicates here. Okay, we'll use that energy refill. Pretty good with the leveling up. Uh, only going to need one energy refill to do all five paths. Once again, the Wolverine mini boss. Gonna get a lot of uh, experience fighting this guy as well. 
And I know a lot of people like to um, rip through the uh, early acts and just get the completion, but there are a lot of units in the um, exploration rewards, and there is something uh, to be said for taking time, uh, building up your roster 100% um, uh, completing the content and just not getting too far ahead of yourself. Because yes, while these fights are really, really easy and uh, honestly a bit repetitive at this point because of the defender selection, um, it doesn't hurt to practice. Path number five. So our final uh, showdown with this Namor. Take Rocket and down to Storm and then to Beast. So it's just uh, just Beast on this whole long path. I kind of like Beast. Oh, he's duped as well. Well, that doesn't really impact anything. I do like Beast, but he needs a little bit of a rework. I don't know that he needs a full, say, Magneto, Spider-Gwen, uh, Hulkbuster rework, but he needs a little bit added to his kit and uh, a numbers boost to um, make him useful in the game right now because he just doesn't have a place either on offense or defense right now. And there's just not an occasion where you'd say, you know who I really need? Beast. Oh, you caught me, Vision. One more fight against this uh, Wolverine mini boss here. Then we'll have our final fight against uh, this Iron Man boss and be done. We'll take a look at the mastery tree, uh, see what we're going to add to. Uh, also uh, do our rewards opening. Looks like we've got a few crystals to pop. There we go. Big SP2 took care of all that regen. And we are 100%. Let's see what the rewards are. So some gold, a ton of gold, uh, 100 units. That's huge. Uh, that's almost another stony core. We've got the two star crystals and two, two to three, two star rank up gems, which are very nice. 
All right, so let's head over to the um, the mastery um, tree uh, proficiencies. Uh, I don't think we're going to do anything here. Defense. Uh, what I would really like to do is unlock recovery, but we don't have the units to buy the stony cores yet. So I'm going to go down here and add to my block proficiency and eventually unlock a uh, perfect block. And all that's fine because we're going to we'll get to recovery at some point and eventually unlock willpower as well as uh, I accumulate more units. Now, um, edit alliance champs, right? So uh, by reaching level 17, I can now participate in alliance quest and alliance war. Uh, so it's time to let um, my alliance know who I'm going to use for attack and uh, defense. All right, I think that will work. Uh, war defenders. Throw in the Iron Man Infinity War. Uh, Void can go in there. Mysterio. Black Widow evades, so she would be good. Um, Ultron can regen, so he'd be good. Hulkbuster has his shock on crits, so he's good. Alliance quest will probably be more of the same. So we'll throw an Ultron and Wolverine there as they have regen and that might be useful. So it's good to um, let your Alliance know who you have available. How it really helps out the uh, officers. Look at that, 43 champs, 11.8K uh, base hero rating, a whopping 785 prestige okay I am ready for the Grandmasters game and account sharing very very bad so don't do that okay we've got some more gold check out the other objectives Okay, completed that quest. So some three-star shards, some SO. Anything in the stash, uh, quest completion, that's nice. Got a little, uh, a little bit in the overflow there. Oh, I'm gonna have to use, look, I've got those two to three gems in the overflow, that's nice. All right, let's look at our crystals. Okay, we've got a premium two-star Nexus. Two-star hero, hero and another premium. All right, we'll start with the two-star crystals. Open those up. Nothing too crazy. A rhino, OG Spider-Man, Hawkeye. Let's see if I can awaken two-star Ultron or Scarlet Witch. Hmm, okay. Um, let's go with OG... Uh, no, that's not OG Vision. That is Age of Ultron Vision. Let's go with him. Always liked that guy. Okay, now the premium hero crystal. And I get another four star. Oh, so close to that Havoc. He would have been great. Would be fun to stick him on a boss node <laughs> in war at this level. Oh, I do have a three star. Very nice. Very nice. Come on, four star. 
All right, three-star Taskmaster. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Do not spend 2,500 units on a three on a uh, on a four-star. Don't do that. Definitely not worth the units. Save those units for your mastery points. Oh, that warlock. Oh, Mojo. Yes. Yes. Oh, very cool. All right. So Mojo is definitely getting ranked up as a three star on this account. And uh, we're going to see if we can awaken that big boy and uh, put him on Alliance War Defense. Let's just, uh, before I even forget, I want to throw him, uh, throw him on there. All right, so we did get a few new champions today. You see that Mojo uh, peeking out there on row number three, but the top of the roster is uh, three-star Guardian at uh, rank three, uh, four-star Sentry. Uh, then we have um, Iron Man Infinity War, Stark Spider-Man, and Mysterio rounding out the top five. Very, very tech-heavy uh, at this point as far as my pulls. All right, everyone, that is it for me. Hope you enjoyed the playthrough of 1.3.6. I will be back soon as we break into 1.4 and hopefully have a little bit of Alliance gameplay to show you as well. Talk to you in the next one. Bye.